Do your car audio workshop tables look destroyed like an assortment of crop circles? Are you tired of clamps always getting in the way when you use a router on a workpiece? In this video I'm going to show you a cheap under $15 solution for your woes. Let's get started. To begin making our router cutting station, I'm starting with taking a 3 quarter inch piece of MDF and cutting it down to 27 inches by 24 inches. For this project, we need that piece of wood along with a roll of toolbox liner mat. Since our router station is something that will move around often, we don't want any sharp corners on it. I'm using my Mobile Solutions router radius templates to add a radius to each corner. At the jigsaw cutting station, I rough cut each of these corners, leaving an eighth inch of material for our router flush trim bit to remove. To be honest, it's not overly critical that these corner radiuses are absolutely perfect. I'm just a little OCD about my tools. I'm also using the same process in order to add an ellipse shape at one end of the board. This ellipse will serve as a handle, allowing me to easily pick up the router cutting station. Now that all of our cuts have been made, I load up a quarter inch roundover bit in order to smooth over all the edges, giving the part a finished look. Now it's time for us to apply the toolbox liner mat. In order to do this, we start with applying spray adhesive to our wooden piece. We apply this same adhesive to the back side of the toolbox liner. After giving the spray adhesive a few minutes to become tacky, we can now position our toolbox liner on top of the wooden piece. We'll want to apply the toolbox liner into the wooden piece carefully and not apply any pressure until we know that we're happy with the positioning. After we've allowed a few more minutes for the adhesive to take hold, we can use a sharp knife in order to remove the material from around the cutout and around the outer perimeter. We'll want to repeat this procedure and apply the mat onto the opposite side of the wooden piece as well. With these steps complete, we now have finished our router cutting station. The cutting station allows us to set a workpiece on top of it, and the workpiece will hold stable without the use of clamps. You can see here that I can literally push the table by pushing on the workpiece. The toolbox liner does an excellent job holding using friction against the top of the table and against the workpiece. The router station pad allows me to easily make cuts without needing to clamp the workpiece, saving time, and ensuring clamps are not in my way. Also note that by carefully setting the depth of your cut, the router will barely cut into the foam pad and will allow you to cut multiple times without damage to the wooden base below. Ultimately, once the pad is worn out, it can be easily removed and replaced. So what did you guys think of the router cutting station? Personally, I found that the router cutting station makes my workflow a lot more efficient. I don't have to ever mess around with clamps anymore, and I'm not constantly messing up a nice tabletop. If you enjoyed this video, I do want to point out that I have a couple of other very, very cost-effective shop upgrade videos that you can check out. One is where I build an extremely cost-effective dust collection system, and the other one is one where I make a nice little jigsaw cutting station. You can check those out by clicking the I up here. So it's been a few weeks since the last video. I've been really busy working on a bunch of projects and shooting a ton of video content for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited. But I want to let you know, if you want to stay tuned in between the videos, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Car Audio Fab. And I've also decided that I'm going to start making more public posts from my personal Facebook profile page. So if you want to add me as a friend on Facebook, be sure to click my profile link down below. Finally, I want to give a special thanks to the Car Audio Fabrication Patreon support group. A few new guys have signed up since the last video. Colton, Ron, Oliver, and Rob, thank you guys for signing up. And also thank you to my top Patreon members, Emmanuel, Nathan, Rory, Eddie, Richard, Mark, Truman, and Jerry, along with all the other Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for helping make these videos come true. If you'd like to learn more about Patreon and how you can help me make these videos, be sure to check out the link down below where it says Patreon or in the video description. Thank you again for watching this video.